Amir Khan wants his world title, but Andreas Kotelnik is convinced the belt's staying with him. I don't want to say so much. I just want to say to them, hey, we will see us in the ring, and there I will show you who is the best. In the picturesque North German port of Hamburg, the locally based Ukrainians prepared behind firmly closed doors for his third title defense, but granted us exclusive access, although sparring and tactical plans remain top secret. For us, it's normal not to show our tactic or our special training by the uh, pads or in the sparring. So it's for us a normal. The famous Universum gym has been home to countless world champions, many coached by expert trainer Michael Tim. So many. Yeah. So many, um, a lot of them, and at one point, nine at once. Now Tim's fully focused on repelling the challenge of calm. Out of all I can see in the moment, um, uh, everything goes on that um, I'm sure you win the fight. Tim and Kotelnik have enjoyed a hugely successful partnership, raiding Britain before to shatter the unbeaten run of Gavin Reese and claim the belt. For me, uh, I won my title in Cardiff against Gavin Reese. Um, this was my great target, and now I have to de defend this title over there. Kotelnik's always been prepared to travel. Since turning professional after capturing silver in the Sydney Olympics, he's fought and won in seven different countries. And crucially, he's never been stopped, something his opponent certainly can't boast. The fights I saw, he wasn't very strong, and maybe there's, there's something with his chin. The message from Hamburg is clear. Khan's in for the fight of his life. I'm the world champion, this is my job, and I, I'm doing boxing for 24 years, so I've no doubt to win. I will win. He took on a legend. Marco Antonio Barrera is beaten. Now, can Britain's Amir Khan become champion of the world? This is a world-class performance, and he's now ready for a shot at the world title. Is he at last the man who would be king? Khan V. Kotelnik for the WBA Light Welterweight title. July 18th, Sky Box Office. He's very dangerous, you know, he's the world champion. He's, um, he's had like 33 fights, lost only two of them. Um, he's held the title for like a, a year plus, and you know, he's defended it four times. So, you know, he's, he's a great fighter. He's strong, and I think he's an ideal fight for me this time, you know. Um, I'm ready for a world, world title fight. Uh, it's going to take me to a next level now. And, you know, the training I've done with my coach, Freddie Roach, and the team in, in America, I'm sure it's going to take me on to win this fight. We've been working a lot on the defence, you know, like the last two fights, you can see the defence improving. And also, we've been doing a lot of sparring in, in, in America, which, which helps a lot. You know, the sparring quality in America is miles different than the quality I used to get here. Um, and different things like the technique work, the movements, we've totally changed a lot of things. You know, you totally, you'll see a different Amir every fight. As it goes on, you know, I'm getting better and better and uh, hopefully on the, on the night, you know, they're going to see a new fighter. He took on a legend. Marco Antonio Barrera is beaten. Now, can Britain's Amir Khan become champion of the world? This is a world-class performance and he's now ready for a shot at the world title. Is he at last the man who would be king? Khan V. Kotelnik. For the WBA Light Welterweight title, July 18th, Sky Box Office. Um, we're in a great place right now. We're ready to fight. Um, you know, the postponement threw us off a little bit, but we regrouped, and uh, so we peaked uh, a couple of days ago in Los Angeles and finished sparring. And from this point out, we're just kind of uh, maintaining right now. We have a good game plan in, in store, and um, he's ready. Are, are Reggie were none too pleased with the postponement? Well. You know, when you get a fighter ready and you travel all the way to the UK and then you have to go back and regroup, it's just, uh, I wasn't too happy about it, no, but I guess it's part of life, but no excuses, we're ready.